Hello everyone and welcome to The Fable of Fairy Glen by um, JBO. Uh, this is another RPG Maker request and I got a uh, free copy of this game specifically for the purposes of Let's Playing. I need to mention that at the start of every playthrough. Let's go ahead and start this. The sun was beating down on the Welsh Valley. The farmer and his uh, few farmhands toiled uh, the soil, toiled the soil with immense effort. The previous year's cro uh, crop has been bountiful, and the optimism of the year was rifle, rife. Been a while since I recorded. <laughs> Happiness uh, was among the farmer in the farm hands. Meanwhile, clandestine behavior was bubbling in the mine. The elites uh, were were making a fortune off the miners, and the miners were struggling to get by, living a substantial life for, the, uh, for their hard labor. It was the late 18th century and the mines were in full swing. The miners would rarely see the light of day. Guided by whale oil by whale oil lamps, they uh, they creviced uh, the deep, dingy, dark mines. And here we go, we play as Edwin. Uh, don't really stir of anything. I got a heal. Got some basic um, items. And no description. Alright, alright. We make a humble living. My husband is the farmer. He provided more food f to this village and the next. I'm always well fed and happy, despite the L's occupation of our land. I'm content with life, but my dad, um, but my dad, the farmer, he works, uh, he works so hard. Oh, hello. Great day, is it not? I'm tired, uh, but there is a lot to do. I am thankful for your assistance. You are young, and I appreciate that. Um, that why you don't take this food to the mine. Wait. You are young, and I appreciate that. Why don't? Why don't you take this food to the mine, and have the rest of the day off? So... we have some food, okay. An altar of some kind. Um... Wow, that is a rough first encounter. Um... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I have to talk to everyone to get that guy to spawn. <laughs> Our farmer dad. Probably supposed to heal, honestly. Nah, whatever. It's always like nice to gauge like the difficulty of the game based off the first encounter. I'm surprised that science didn't tell me which direction I can go in. This is a church, it looks like. Alas, our treatment at the hands of the elves have gone on for, for over an over a hundred years. It's not uh, true that they own the land. We have been the fa uh, the fairy glen for over a millennia. Praying in front of the cross is a great healing feeling. At least the elves had um, have tolerance for our faith. I think, yeah, yeah, you restored health and magic that way. Good day. Welcome to the Church of the uh, of the Glen. We are uh, good. We are good people, but the elves treat us so badly. All right, let's try that again. I do have a heal, so I should probably use it. Four hundred health. That is a very powerful heal, and it doesn't even cost that much either. Okay, so I was supposed to be using it. I these. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm so used to games using that, like, plugin that, like, makes it so you start on the other screen. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Y you develop some muscle memory playing so many RPG Maker games.
Oh my god, how much health do you have? Wow, that is a tanky first enemy. <laughs> you got pixie dust for that. When placed on the altar, it becomes the pixie queen. Okay. I gotta say, dark green on green for like the menu, like I uh, the menu like color cursor, like the cursor for the thing you're selecting. I personally pick a different color for that, because, like, dark green on green is kind of hard to see. <laughs> Go away, stupid human. So those are the elves, I take it. Is this the mine? Welcome to the mine. The mine is, uh, is the property of the elves. Remember your place in the hierarchy. We are gracious enough to let you humans live here, so be grateful and fall in line. Bloody. Tough job this is. E. What a life a What? <laughs> I actually like lugging rocks. God, my eyes hurt when we leave the pits in the daylight. Mind you, some days in winter we don't see the light of day. Hey you, long time no see. What brings you to the mine? I'm here to deliver this food for you. The farmer sent me. Wow, that's great. He's a good man, that farmer never li um... He's a good man. That farmer never likes to see a man go hungry. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of, like, missing, like, commas and periods, like, can you do me a favor, return to my home and collect my pickaxe? Uh, would you, my boy? Okay. I'm assuming this is the other way. Uh, let's make another save real quick. It takes like a second to come back here, so I might as well come back and get my health back. Oh, this is a shop. Welsh Dragon Ring. What is that increased by set by... <laughs> What well, is that increased by 25? I can't sell that. Oh, I can purchase from the drinks as well? That's a little weird. Feels like an oversight. There's the pickaxe. What a kind man the farmer is. I was strolling through the forest and he gave me some fruits. How are the lads down the mine? They are doing fine, I just took them some food from the farm. <clears throat> That is good to hear. You cannot face work like that on an empty stomach. Uh, can you use that as a makeshift weapon? No. Okay. And these are... Okay, those are locked too. I want to buy that dragon ring, because I'm assuming that is an accessory, and I don't have an accessory yet, and... I don't know what it raises, but, like, that is a good amount for it to raise a stat by, so... Especially since, like... Yeah, I barely have any stats. I'm still level 1. Wow, thank you. I didn't pay you for the food parcel. Here, uh, here's 25 gold. Be sure to pay the farmer. Nothing in life is free, right? How are you doing? I thought you would be relaxing by now. I got 25 gold from Benjamin for the food. I tell you what, my young far uh, my young farmhand, you can keep 15 of it. How are you doing? I thought you'd be relaxing. Oh, run along. You make a humble living. My husband is the farmer. Uh, well, now what do I do?
Oh, upper hand. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Okay. That should be a little bit easier now. Not quite sure where I need to go next. Why are you back so early? <clears throat> Did the farmer give you another afternoon off? Yeah, and 15 gold too. This is good to hear. And I have five of it. I really want to buy something special. Sure. I'm going to spend the money on your birthday present. Be sure to check in with me tomorrow. For now, go get some rest. There's nothing you can do now that you can't do tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I actually looked on the, um, well, I typically look on, like, the game page before I download something, obviously, but, like, I saw a comment, um, where someone was asking, like, what you're supposed to do after talking to the grandmother character, and, uh, the dev replied, sleep in the bed, and I'm like, that feels a little, like, I'm gonna be honest, this game is not 100% clear on, like, what you need to do next, and I think that's a little bit of a problem, I don't know. Even just, like, changing some dialogue to, like, make it more clear where you have to go next would be a lot more appreciated. <laughs> Why does that didn't heal me? Sleeping usually does. I got you a present. Thanks, Grandma. What is it? Oh, she got me a dragon ring. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is good. <laughs> Well, now what? So the pastor of the church wants to talk to you. Don't worry about me, I'll cover your duties for today. Good day, welcome to the Church of, of the Glen. We are a good people, but the elves treat us so badly. They have even re uh, released pixies all around the Fairy Glen. They are very bad pixies. Can you defeat some and bring me the pixie charm? I want to try and attract the fairies to return. How many do I have to kill? Five fairy dust, okay. Place five fairy dust on the forest altar, and then you will get the pixie charm. We can try to make the fairies return. I think I have three right now. So I just have to do a grinding mission. Uh... <laughs> I'm assuming that's the altar they want me to put it on. Oh, dragon heal. Uh, that goes off screen a little bit. Does wearing the ring give me that? Ooh, nice. Okay, now they're doing way less damage. And I didn't... Huh, it's not even guaranteed to get it. Um, okay.
No? Oh, there's one. And another level up, okay. <laughs> I have to fight you? I am the Pixie Queen. Prepare to meet your wrath. Oh, my wrath, okay. Oh, I love this sprite. Okay. <laughs> Where are the elves? You defeated me. How is this possible? Now what? The Pixie, um, the Pixie Queen was defeated in time the fairies will return. Well, that's what the priest wanted, so... Or the pastor. They have even re uh, released Pixies all around Fairy Glen. I, 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 I did. We can try to make the fairies return. Great work. You can do checks, like, in the event menu so he doesn't repeat dialogue like that, just saying. <laughs> As you have completed this quest and brought uh, us one step closer to returning the fairies to Fairy Glen, I give to you this, the dragon armor. Sweet. The armor of Owain Glen um, Glendor, brought from the crypt of Fairy Glen. 1359 to 1415, the last Welsh Prince of Wales. That's kind of cool. You know, I have played, like, one other game by this developer before. Um, I forgot what the name of it was, but, like, it was about, like, Greek history, and there was a lot of, like, edutainment stuff like that there, too. It seems like this game is kind of a similar deal, but for, like, Welsh history instead. There we go. So you help the pastor at the church. He really wants the fairies to return to the glen. I want you to take a food parcel to the mine. Make sure one fellow, um, our fellow people of Fairy Glen are well. Oh, clandestine behavior was bubbling in the mine. The elites were making a fortune off the miners, and the miners were struggling to get by, living a um, successant life of their hard labor. Wait, didn't I repeat this as well? It was the late 17th century, and the mines were in full swing. The miners were ra uh, rarely would rarely see the light of day, guided by whales' oil lamps and crevices deep in the din in the deep, dingy, dark mines. Discontent brewed as uh, soon as the miners found themselves on, on a picket line. The elites resorted to not only removal of pay, but attempted to starve them into submission. All food was cut off uh, from the neighboring towns. No trade was permitted by the order of the elvish authorities. Oh, jeez. 
This life can get better. I know it. Uh, I know it. And strike and strike action is the way forward. Bloody tough job, isn't it? The elves li uh, live a life of luxury while we sl uh, slave in the mine for for pittance. The farmer is a good man. Praise the dragon. He has the spirit of a lion. Do you have the food parcel for me? Here you are. Thank you, young one. God, my eyes uh, hurt when we leave the pits in the daylight. Mind you, um, mind you, some days in winter we don't see the light of day. I am fed up working hard in the mine for almost nothing. I have a food parcel for you. That's great. Uh, he, um, he's a good man, that, that farmer. Never like to see a man go hungry. There's a lot to say about sticking together. When the farmer's health will succeed. We are gracious enough to let you humans live here, so be grateful and fall in line. I don't care that you uh, live in subsidence, that you have only that you have only enough to eat and find shelter. There are there are others in the El Elven Empire that don't even have food nor shelter. Fall in line, uh, the Elf King has de decreed that you will be sanctioned. No more trade will be permitted with the other Welsh villagers, nor anywhere in the Empire. We will starve this uh, this little protest and bring and bring you to your knees. Oh, they're staging a strike. That's what's going on. No, <laughs> this guy did mention a strike, but yeah, strike action doesn't a hundred percent imply that. But okay. So what's next? Go to the farmer and tell him of our plight. Okay. How how easy are these fairies gonna be now? I don't take any damage anymore. <laughs> I gotta say, the difficulty curve in this game feels a little weird to me. I don't know. It's like, I had to fully heal myself like twice just to kill an enemy, and now they can't even do damage to me, and I'm just... I'm only two levels higher? I don't know. Hey you, my helpful farmhand. The miners are on strike for a higher wage. The elves have refused trade from outsiders. They are trying to starve Fairy Glen. Benjamin said that the miners will pay for uh, pay you back when they get their pay rate rise. They are, um, they have all agreed. I want you to take as many food parcels to the people of Fairy Glen as possible. No one will starve. Not on my watch. Here, I'll place a box of all the food parcels we have, and I, um, I was going to save them in in the uh, granary for winter. Nonetheless, our, our kin of the Glen need to eat. Uh, how many can I take? Oh, oh my god. There are only like seven people there, but like... <laughs> I guess I can never be too careful. Oh, that's all of them. 23. That's a very random number, but okay. <laughs> The farmers by this time... The farmers by this time with his band of merry farmer... Wait. The farmer by this time with his band of merry farmers had created a bountiful surplus. Oh, okay. And so, the farmer offered the food to the striking miners in exchange for a promise that when the strike ends, they will return the cost of the food. The strike went on for some months, and the elvish colonies were suffering from the absence of the raw materials from the mine. The people of the Glen were uh, shoulder to shoulder, brothers in arms. Their community spirit flourished like the farm had. The elves faced great pressure about the resources from the mine for their vast and growing empire, and continued to starve the Glen. You still don't want anything. I bear good news. The farmer said he is going to help Fairy Glen, and he appreciates that you will pay him back for, uh, for his uh, for his and my hard labor. By the might of the dragon, we will win this plight. Don't talk to any of the elves; they won't bother you, young one. D uh, distribute the food among the people of Fairy Glen, and be proud for your actions. Farmer's good man, do you have a food parcel for me? Here you are. Thank you, young one. Please give my wife some food also. Give the farmer my thanks. Here you are. Thank you, young one. E, this life can be better. I, I, I know it, and strike action. Thank you, young one. Why is that guy blue? I wondered that, like, this whole game now. <laughs> but do you want some food, too? Buddy, get out of here.
I give some food to the um, the church staff. Oh, another level up. Okay. Nope. Hmm. All right. Oh, no. I heard the news. The farmer is going to feed us all during the famine. Here you are. Thank you, young one. Thank you. Dil Dilk? Is that Welsh? I think I've read on the on the uh, game page that some characters do speak Welsh, just for um, you know some like world building, like factor. I don't know. <laughs> I was starving. I'm glad you have brought food. My gum. What are those men doing? They are on strike against the tyranny of the elves. They are going to secure a better future for all the people of the Glen. Maybe even the Elven Empire. Here you are. Thank you, young one. By the mind of the dragon, we are lucky to have a farmer in you. I heard the news. The elves are not happy. At the weekend, I work in the, elf, uh, the elven manor house. Do you know they have three types of meat with every meal? We have only one duck a week. Here you are. We have a big family. May I take three? Thank you, young one. By the mind of the dragon, we are lucky to have a farmer in you. Do, do you like must mean like hello in Welsh or something? I don't know. <laughs> that husband of mine loves lugging rocks. Why is he even striking? For justice and more equal world. Here you are. Thank you, young one. My husband is a strong man in muscle and, and bone. The farmer is strong in ethic. Hey, I got you a present. Granny, I, I have food for you. <laughs> Are there like 14 more people I need to feed, or is that all of it? I think I've, I've fed everyone. The miners are on strike for higher wages. There are still more people to feed. Have you been to everyone's home and fed the people here? I have. Because I think I have. Let me just talk to everyone again. That's an elf up there, and that's an elf right there, so I can't talk to him. I must have missed a person in the village. I think that's everyone. I 
Yes. What the heck is going on? Do I have to feed you? Oh! We only need a meager wage increase for the Glen. We all deserve to have a slice of the pie. Imagine how you would feel. Ah, shucks, you can go. Do I have to talk to him? Give me 20 gold and I'll forget about it. I didn't see anything. Are you taking my money? Oh, I... Okay. Leroy. Uh-oh. Oh, he has, like, infinite attack, doesn't he? Ah, huh. okay. Da -da -da. <laughs> Yo, he was taking my money. What the heck? Oh! Uh, hold on. F5 is software set. Do I have to talk to him? I'm a little confused what I have to do right now. I've talked to everyone. You're an elf too. Maybe I have to go to bed again? Huh. I, I'm at a loss. I don't know what I have to do next. Uh... I guess let's ask the dev, I, I guess. I'll be right back. Alright, um, I found out where to, uh, yeah. I found out what I needed to do. It's a little cryptic, to be frank. Um, so basically what- oh, whoops. So, I was missing something. Um, so you remember the shopkeeper? Apparently this is one of those rare RPGs where um, talking to the shopkeeper from behind the counter gives you different dialogue. We can store the rest of the food, however we have an infestation of rats. First you'll need to climb down there and sort it out. Make sure you bring the food also. Oh gee, oh this is like an actual maze. <laughs> Who designs a basement like this? <laughs> I'll say, these guys are way more powerful than the fairies. Oh my god, am I missing something? Why am I doing so little damage to them? Oh, I have that! 
Uh, let me heal real quick first. I don't think I've used this skill yet. Uh, I think that does less than our normal attack. Yeah. I... Why is this taking so long? Oh my god, that was the longest I've ever... <laughs> that was the longest it's ever taken me to kill just a normal rat. Also, that is cheese. <laughs> Can be sold for a small price, alright. Honestly, I'm not really in any, like, desperate need of item. What the heck? I didn't expect to find a dragon down here. <laughs> Hello. You're probably a mini-boss or something. Lazy Dragon. Um, okay, that sprite is primarily meant for side view battles, and you can kind of tell because it's just facing, it's not even facing me. <laughs> I can damage it, at least. It does a lot of damage, though. Oh, I hope this doesn't, like, take longer than the, um, at least I still go faster. That heals less than the one that- <laughs> what is with the balancing in this game? <laughs> the low-cost heal heals more, and the, the attack that uses TP resources does less damage than my normal attack. <laughs> I must just have, like, really low magical attack or something, I don't know. It feels very strange. I get under 300, I heal myself. That's kind of where I am right now. You know, I will give the battle system one thing. I've yet to see an enemy get a critical hit, because that is kind of a pet peeve of mine. Like, I don't know. RPGs inherently have, like, a lot of randomness to them, but the fact that, like, just an attack can just... Especially in a situation like this, if, like, if the enemy criti uh, got a critical hit on me, this enemy, it'd probably do, like, 400 damage or something. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, okay, I might need to heal twice in a row here. have a way to, like, get MP back, right? No, I don't. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Once again, I'm starting to see a pattern with this game. <laughs> your normal attacks do nothing. Or your only your, your normal attacks, like, deal damage and stuff. boss doesn't have, like, a thousand health or something.
I'm starting to get a little concerned I might run out of MP. Oh my god, dude. Um, the lazy dragon turned into a god. <laughs> the lazy dragon, disturbed by your battle, begins to feed on the rats. Oh, I had to do that, okay. Sword, I guess? Mostly cause- yeah, there we go. Mostly cause, like, just- I, I seem to be doing a lot less damage to stuff now. And now, the enemies are probably going to be, like, dying in one hit. Why is the attack animation a cloud? I'll say, yeah, freaking look at this. Yeah, what is up with the bouncing in this game? <laughs> is there anything else down here? I feel like I should go back up and, um... I feel like I should go back up and heal real quick, just to get my MP back. I don't know where- I still don't know where I need to bring the food parcels. Oh, bats as well. And they have even less defense. Okay. I did store it out. Okay, we can store the food here for the village. We will take 12 and ration them out. I have two left. And you have nothing else to say. Or anything else. Let me heal real quick. Done. Everyone has food to last a number of weeks. Great work, young one. Please now go grab some sleep. Oh! I know what you're doing. I am young too. I admire your community spirit, although I'm still telling on you. Wait. Don't you think everyone deserves to be a little more... something equal, maybe? No, you're not the, um... No, you're not. I'm armored up, and I'm going to teach you... Do you want to be friends? Ugh. Elves and humans are not supposed to be friends. Wait a minute. Do we not all bleed? Do we not all eat and drink of this? You are a racist, let's battle. Uh... I want to resolve this as peacefully as I can if possible. We do indeed. We all have a stake in this world. Okay, you have one month. Well, that, that, that took care of it. Okay. Do I still sleep here? 
Yeah, okay. The Elvish caved in and gave the Welsh miners a, a, a meager pay increase, though that meager pay increase was enough to double the standard of livings for the miners. They rejoiced and lavished themselves on luxuries. The farmers and his family were pleased to have contributed to the miners' success, and eagerly waited to be repaid. A day went by, they were drinking and horsing around with the newfound wealth. A week went, but still no return of, of the cost. The Snide elites began, uh, began a smear campaign on the farmer, knowing that he had been the crutch of the strike, the, the one who made it all possible. Playing the miners against him, demanding the farmer and his hard work. Despite both the miners and the farmer tilling the earth, the miners turned away. The miners concluded and said to the farmer, uh, gets to see the light of day, we, we never see the light of day, let us spend our hard-earned money and forget about his kindness. A month went by now after giving all, all that he had earned and worked for in favor of the community, and standing up for economic justice, the once hero of the village was left alone on his farm. He couldn't pay the farmhands their, wa uh, their wage, they too went in dire disappointment. Huh. The miners are pretty rotten, eh? Benjamin said that the miners will pay you back when the, they, they get their pay rise. They all agreed. I'm worried about how me and my family will face the, face the winter. Please go to the tavern and try to make them see, see sense. Oh. Ooha! Oh, right. All this gold. What an epic amount of money. I can drink straight after work until dusk. I expected more from you, Benjamin. Look, the farmer gets to wake up every morning and walk, uh, walk his fields. What more does he want from life? Maybe enough gold to feed his family through winter. E, I'm glad my wife is off my back about the savings. No one's saying anything. Hmm. Oh! I'm sorry I had to tell them. Bye, I guess? No. <laughs> yeah, you guys still say the same things. You won't even sell to me anymore. Oh no, you will. Uh, who else could I talk to? Maybe go back to the farmer? You and your farmer have done a good job these past few days. I'm proud of you. Now run along and see how uh, the Glen is doing. Also, I just noticed something. Uh, when you exit, you... Oh, I thought it put you one more space down. Never mind. Wait, what? Be sure to pay the farmer. Nothing in life is free, right? Screw you. <laughs> I know what probably happened there is, um... Is, um, you're pro you shouldn't be able to, like, re-enter the mine at that point, because that's a little immersion-breaking, them talking about paying the farmer. <laughs> They trundled to the village and demanded that the miners pay the money back. The miners laughed and said, You men see the light of day, not like us who uh, go down in that godforsaken mine. The farmer and his family high on the hill were starving. They looked down on the village below, and the farmer said, We did the right thing, yet kindness doesn't put food on the table. The elite that saw him as the bane of the strike demanded their land tax and took the remaining grain the farmer had for the first family. The farmer looked out across the 18th cent... The farmer looked out across the 18th century village, the cobbled roads and the dim light oil lamps lighting the streets, and said kindness never pays. I didn't expect much in return, but I didn't want to see, a f see my family starve. Weakened by the betrayal of his village kin and the days of sustenance his heart gave in, he died of a broken spirit. All the farming stuff is gone now too. 
Why did he turn to an old man? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm so numb. I haven't to uh, told the kids yet. I've locked them inside. At least he's in my inventory. No. <laughs> and it's raining indoors. Uh. Good God, this is a tra tragedy. <laughs> What a fine uh, what a fine man brought to death by his own kindness. His faith in humanity broken. Please go to the mine and fetch some ore for his tombstone. But then I will have told the people of Fairy Glen. We are gracious enough to let you humans live here, so be grateful and fall in line. Although what happened to your far, uh, to the farmer is tragic. I have opened the inner gate for you. Go show them what being alive is all about. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, you are the one that has been hand, um, handing out all the food. I admire your kindness, and I too believe it to be a sign of weakness. Prepare to die, and then I will murder your precious farmer. There is no end to my lack of mercy. Humans are beneath us. They are fa uh, fallible and prone to emotions such as love and care. I have no time for such emotions. Prepare to see my true form. Oh jeez, elf boss, okay. I do damage, which is good. What about... Let's start with the healing now. That was surprisingly easy after the dragon. <laughs> oh. Destroy the Elven Empire. Oh my god. I didn't expect there to be multiple endings to this. Uh. You know, I'm gonna be honest, like... I'm not really sure, like, what returning the fairies will do. I mean, the priest talked about it a little bit, but, like, it seemed like something that only mattered to him. Who is fulfilling these wishes, may I ask? Is it an elf entity? Would, would it even want to destroy the elven empire? Bring your dad back to life. Please, it is okay, my friend. What we did was stand up against tyranny. Let my death be always known, uh, always be known. For the kin of the Glen will be united in the death. You cannot revive me. You must destroy the Elven Empire. I forgot what Aladdin taught us. He can't bring someone back from the dead with a wish. <laughs> then what? Is it, is it just destroyed now? Said it destroyed the Empire, not the people in the Empire. We are gracious enough to let you... Okay. Oh! Shame on you. What kind of Glen folk are you? This man gave everything for you in a better in a better way of life. When he had died and the miners found out that there was no jeering and no laughing, there was shame in his death. They remembered his good spirit before, during uh, during and after the strike. They remembered he was the the bedrock of the community and had helped them achieve so much as well as being the source of the of most of the food. The church was full of every member of the community. The reverend said I should uh, say be I should say be ashamed, but by the looks on your faces I can see you are. 
You work in the mines, and you rarely see the light of day. Well, you hardly see the light of life. They all returned some money to the family who had lost the farm. The children in the family gave up the farm and labored for the church. The following year, there was a famine brought about by the Irish problem. And, uh, and this, uh, time the old... And this time, the old farmer was not present to be, uh, to be the crutch of the village. The miners thought, um... Though with pennies paid their penance. Thanks for playing. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there's the fable of Fairy Glen. I'm gonna be honest, that was, like... That was kind of rough. <laughs> I don't know, the balance curve, there were a lot of typos. Like, I like the story... I think there's an interesting, like, you know, um, there's an interesting moral there about, like, you know, sometimes kindness doesn't go unpaid. Th this needs some work, though. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be blunt here. Like, <laughs> it's mostly just, like, enemy balance. I'm gonna be honest, this feels like it, almost like a game that, like, wouldn't need encounters at all. Like, they, I feel like they just kind of detracted from, like, the emotional part of it or something. I, it's kind of hard to put into words. Um... Typos could always be fixed. That's that's always a good. I've played a lot of games with typos recently for some reason, <laughs> and there were a couple instances where I feel like I had to look up what to do next, which was a little cryptic. But ah, I, I like the story and I, I I like the moral behind it. It's it's an interesting game. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for reaching out um, uh, to me to to play this one. It was kind of cool. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.